All right, uh, another episode, and uh, on in this one, do the full voltage test drive, and um, get the cooling in, and uh, I think that's about it. A few other little jobs, and um, try and get some insurance quotes, which is a bit of a problem. <clears throat> There's uh, not so many places that will quote for an electric converted car in in the UK, and my current insurer that I insure the Beetle with. Um, They've said it's not the electric conversion that's the problem, it's the BMW. Uh, they're getting a lot of them stolen, so the underwriters just aren't touching BMWs at the moment across the board. Uh, so, yeah, um, can't road test at the moment until I get some insurance. Uh, there's a few other little jobs I need to do before that, anyway. Um, some wiring tidy up. Need to. I've had the reverse light working, but I need to double check that. Um, Shift block. So the uh, hello, all right, you get Holly. So the shifter locks in park, and I need to wire it up so that I don't have to manually lift the little little lever to get it out of park. I'm gonna wire that up so that when I press the brake, the little solenoid lifts the lever up, so that I have to press the brake to move it out of park to drive and reverse and that sort of thing. Um, what else have I got to do? <laughs> oh, Holly's coming, is she? Um, what's Holly got to say about things? <laughs> is that enough for Holly? Or does she need to stay in the video? No, okay. So, yep, you've seen Holly this week. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, I've forgotten where I was. Uh, yeah, tested the charger. Charging's working. Uh, I br uh, briefly charged for like five minutes or so. I uh, didn't have cooling in and it got quite warm, so I'll cut that off. A um, few other little integration things to do, um, to do with the CAN messages and things, but once we're on the road, we'll get those sorted. So, uh, yeah, um, thanks for joining me on this journey anyway. Uh, there'll be more videos as, uh, as I get on the road and do the final finishing touches. Not finishing touches but the other things ccs air conditioning and heating are future plans but yep for now i'm stuck on the insurance part of things so yeah anyway like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoy the clips from this video just a quick test so i put my fuse back in i've manually pre-charged and closed the main contactor and wired up my DC DC converter and charger and it's now DC DC so I can wire that up into zombie and now I know it's working and it's all happy so yeah getting good so uh, where are we? so yeah you can see Campbell's is coming out my HV battery voltage is 368 and DC DC converter request active and down there doing it's at 14.4 volts and uh, about 5 amps so yeah all good yeah getting pretty close now to uh, being able to roll at full voltage so um just blanked off the old uh, input uh, with some prints off the open inverter and this is the new input directly to the uh, dc bus uh, I'm waiting for, I've lost all, I've lost my other glands, so I'm waiting for another one to come. And for another um, M6, 50mm bolt. Oh, I've got the uh, connector clamped on the end. Uh, I've got my junction box in place. I'll show you that. Oh, junction box. And the connector for the inverter and the charger at DC DC. I've scratched all that, so I need a bit more paint. Uh, charger's mounted, just need to put the old plug onto the charger and that's the AC input that's not wired up yet uh, yes yeah, so the contactors are working, I've tested those they're in the junction box there so close to getting onto the low voltage wiring and then we can test it before final assembly and putting the cooling lump in and things yeah, pretty happy so far. 
So I just clamped the uh, high voltage wires along there to the high voltage junction box. Still waiting for the parts for the inverter mounting, so uh, can't do that just yet. So I'm just doing some low voltage wiring. So I'm going to do a full voltage test with pre charging. Still a bit messy wiring under here, but um, so I'm using the battery DC voltage reported by the um, Outlander charger for pre charging. Uh, wiring still mess, but yeah, let's uh, it's going to run. So in we go. Oh, key in ignition. Engine start. And I'll put it into reverse. There we go. Brakes are binding badly. And into drive. There we go. Reverse. Wait, can we do one more after this and then another after that one? Yeah. Forward. Whoa! <laughs> Right, now I sort of drive in, um, I've got to put some cooling in. Um, so I've put one of the hoses, one of the hoses in to the inverter, I need to put the inverter to the transmission. I need to mount the radiator and pump and a reservoir. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go under. So, And from there, up there to the inverter at the back. From there, oh, it looks a bit leaky. That one does that look a bit leaky. Anyway, uh, I'll look at that. Uh, I also need to wire in my AC to the charge port, uh, the pilot proximity, and the the other one, control pilot. And I'm also going to run um, the wires to the sensor for the fuel gauge. I'm probably not going to bother wiring that up just yet, but I don't want to have to get the car back up in the air to get that just to display something. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing at the minute. Just put some cooling hoses in. Yeah. All right, let's get under. Let's just show you. Oh. Oh, got the got the radiator mounted, pump mounted. Um, yeah, so all the hoses are in. They're not clamped on yet. Um, you see, hose, hose, hose. Still need to cut this this one. Wait for my TP to arrive to fill in with the reservoir and a, a ninety, obviously. To go there, but yeah, after that, should once I've got insurance be able to have a little drive. So, the cooling system's in. Um, got this reservoir from an RS125, use these on the Beetle as well. Um, nice and compact and cheap. Uh, pumps down there and goes to the radiator that's obviously there. Uh, charger, 
um, inverter and then through to the transmission back round to the pump uh, so that's the cooling still got to sort all that wiring mess out um, but then I think we should be good to oh no uh, I also need to sort out the handbrake and then I think we'll be good to try and get some insurance and road test